Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. We're going to take a look at an interesting method for factoring polynomials known as the guess and check method. Now the reason why this is such an interesting method is that it's basically the process of multiplying polynomials using FOIL, but thinking of the process in reverse. Okay? So let me show you how this process works. So suppose I have a polynomial x squared plus x minus 6, and I want to factor it. In other words, break it down into pieces. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is assume that it breaks down into two pieces, since I have an x squared. Now, to figure out what I need to put into these pieces, I'm going to think of the process of FOIL. Specifically, I'm going to think about what my first terms need to be. So I think, okay, what times what will give me an x squared? Well, fortunately, I only have one option. Looks like x times x will produce an x squared. Okay? Now, rather than think of the outside and inside terms, I jump to my last terms and I think, all right, what do my last terms need to be in order to multiply to give me a negative 6? Let's see, well, one guess that I might throw in there is, say, a positive 3 and a negative 2. All right? So, by doing my first terms and my last terms, I've come up with a guess as to what my two pieces need to be. Now, here's where the check part comes in. This may not be the right answer. I want to actually carry out the entire FOIL process to make sure it works and actually gets my original polynomial. Well, the way we've built our first and last terms, we know that these guys are going to work. The only concern is, will the outside and inside combine in order to give me my x term? So we do these last two. So we check the outside, that's a negative 2x, and we check the inside, positive 3x, and we see if they combine to give us an x. If it does, we know that this is the correct answer. Okay? So you can see that method is actually not so bad. Establish your first terms, establish your last terms, and then check your outside and inside terms to make sure it all works out. Now the only downside to the guess and check method is sometimes you might end up with lots of options that you need to check. Okay, so in this next example, let's see how the guess and check method works and some of the problems we might run into. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is make the assumption that it's going to break down into two pieces. I want to first establish what my first and last terms need to be. So I want to think of two things that multiply to give me a 6x squared. Now, here's the problem. It could be 1 and 6, or it could be 2 and 3. Those two things might also be reversed. Maybe it's 6 and 1, or 3 and 2. So I want to write down some of those possibilities. So 1, 6, or maybe 2 and 3. And go ahead and just put one of those in. So maybe 1x and 6x. All right, so that'll be our guess for the first terms. Let's go check out those last terms. We need two things that multiply to give us a negative 10. Hmm. Now, as you'll notice, we got a few more options. It could be, say, a negative 1 and a positive 10. It could be a negative 2 and a positive 5. Or, or maybe I might even have, say, a negative 10, positive 1, a negative 5, positive 2. You know, lots of options for the last terms as well. So, in which case, write down some of those options. So, negative 1, positive 10, negative 2, positive 5. Uh, maybe positive 1, negative 10. Maybe positive 2, negative 5. So what we're going to do is basically start checking some of these options. So I'm, I'm using my first pair, the 1 and 6, with my first option for the last terms, the negative 1 and 10. Now I'm going to check my outside and inside terms to see if this really works out. So my outside would give me a 10x my inside would give me a negative 6x. When those combine, I get a 4x. And you'll notice that is not the same as what my middle term really needs to be. Well, what does that tell me? It means that 
these two pieces that I want to break my polynomial down into, they're not the right ones. So what I would do is I'd start over with another two pieces and try another guess. Now we have lots of options to pair different things with and we might actually go through a bunch of different pairs. I'm going to show you the one that actually works. 2x and 3x, so you'll notice there's the 2 and the 3, with a positive 1 and a negative 10. So this one right here. If you check your first terms, 2x times 3x, you'll get 6x squared. Your last terms, 1 times a negative 10, negative 10. And finally, if you check your outside terms, so negative 20x, with your inside terms, Sure enough, they combine to give you a negative 17x. So we know that this is the correct factorization of our polynomials. So be careful when you're working through the guess and check process. You may end up with lots of different options as a possible guess. You really have to do check all the pairs in order to figure out which one's going to work and, and really do check them. You know, that's the check part of the guess and check method. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.